I'm Melissa, this is Martin, Haley, and Maddie, and we're cruising America's Great Loop on our boat, Cavalier. We welcome you to hop aboard and share in this journey with us. Hey, child, I've been girl. A big world is out there waiting for us. I do live in every day. Uh, so the last time we left off, we were at, uh, at the uh, marina in uh, Port La Belle, uh, about halfway to Lake Okeechobee. And so what we did is we got up the next morning and um, left there uneventfully and went, went over towards uh, Lake Okeechobee. Uh, we had to go through one more lock, uh, actually two locks. We had to go through one lock to get over there. And then there was one lock that uh, takes you right into the town of Clewiston, which is where we were going to be staying. Um, in a marina there so you basically the way you do it is you you, you, you take it over to Lake Okeechobee and kind of skirt the lake you really can't see the lake right right it's, it's like there's banks and there's there's a I think if you had an airboat I think you, I think it's all water you could just go go out there or whatever but you from where we're at our perspective we couldn't really see the lake but it also meant it was very protected so we made our way around a, a little section of the lake and then uh, we got to Clewiston where uh, we were gonna, we needed to go through another uh, lock to get into this little, uh, the little town of Clewiston and the uh, marina there, and uh, we got in there, it lined up on the lock, and they opened the doors of this lock, and I went, whoa, are we gonna fit? <laughs> I mean, it was tight. And the, the lockmaster asked us how, how yeah. long we were, so he knew we were 48, yeah. and he, so I'm like, well, he knows how long we are, so we I think he, Yeah, so I think he was asking us our beam and our length, so I was thinking, he's looking at us like we may not fit, you know, so, but uh, evidently they could take even bigger boats than us in there, but uh, we got in there without, without, uh, without any trouble, it was yeah. pretty tight, but uh, yeah. It was a, fine, it just... Felt yeah. really small. Yeah, really, really small, and uh, but it was kind of fun. So I think we went down uh, two feet. Yeah, went down a couple of feet so uh, to get in in there, and then uh, opened it up and went down to our uh, to the marina there, which is uh, uh, Roland Martin uh, Marina. Uh, pretty pretty neat little place. It's a resort area too. Uh, so there's a couple of big restaurants and. Uh, uh, nice, really cool little uh, marine shop there. You really like it, right? Yeah, I think yeah. I actually even bought a shirt there. Yeah. Uh, and then they have a nice little tiki bar type thing there for yeah. a restaurant. That was pretty cool. So we uh, we went over there and had uh, had beers, and brought the dogs, and uh, had had uh, had dinner there. Yeah. And uh, that was that was pretty neat. Uh, other than that, there really we didn't do much there, right? No, it was just a place to stop before we were gonna head over to Lake Okeechobee. Yeah. Um, the from what most people say is you really want to get an early start going over the lake because as the day goes on the the wind and the waves build yeah so you want to get going early to get across it before they get bigger yeah and, and we would have actually we would have actually stayed there uh, more but the, the next day was the, was the best weather right and after that it started started getting bad again so we really needed to just get up and go the next day so everything we do has to do with the weather yeah it, it really does yeah it's amazing how many decisions we make to stay somewhere or to skip somewhere that we thought maybe we would go yeah um, but you gotta you gotta respect the weather so that's what we're doing yep you got you got to so um, so anyhow uh, but let's, let's back up a little bit of why we're going across Lake Okeechobee um, original our, our original plan was to go down to the Keys and go around the bottom um, but the problem is we need some work done on the boat and we need the we need the boat hauled and, and to get the uh, uh, prop work done and uh, I just didn't uh, feel comfortable taking the boat, neither did Melissa, uh, down to an area where there's no there's no place to get it worked on down there, um, so, which we know is not in optimal shape. So, yeah. we we the best place we could get the work done in a reasonable amount of time was over in Stewart, Florida, on the east coast. So that made up our mind for us is we had to go. We were going across Lake Okeechobee. We are tied up here at Roland Martin Marina in Clewiston, 
Florida. Getting ready tomorrow to head off across Lake Okeechobee. And we came in here, it's, a, it's just a big long dock for transients. And it's pretty tight fit as you can see. It wasn't a problem at all getting in here. But leaving tomorrow, we're gonna have to back out. There's no way to turn around, there's just not enough room. So we'll back out and then when you get out further out there, there's a little spot where, where there's plenty of room on both sides we can twist around and go through that little bitty um, walk again. We'll write a story We tell to a very own um, So anyhow, so then um, we got up that morning and uh, and left the, the close and we had kind of had to back out of there because of the small little canal. That was, that was kind of interesting because it was a long way to back out and everybody was up watching us back by their <laughs> boats. You know, come within three feet of their boat as we're back in this big old boat by him and they're waving at us but kind of like don't hit us yeah i hope he knows what he's doing <laughs> yeah exactly but he did i might have looked like I, I think i fooled him uh, to where they thought i knew what i was doing anyway. she, you did you got out of there just fine <laughs> yeah so anyhow we got we got over got to the lock um and uh it was actually funny because we got over the lock and it was there was a, a we were all set up to do one tie because i it didn't matter which side but with the side we were setting up we came around and got towards the lock and there's a, a little small bass boat sitting there so uh we came up and i kind of called to him and said hey Eddie, could you move over because he's just holding the rope he could eat so he he ended up moving over that was pretty cool yeah and then we got tied up and then two more boats came in two more little uh, bass type boats came in and their center consoles came in behind them so we were a lot a lot of little boats in that little little tiny lock again and uh Everything's everything was going okay until they tried to open the gates, and only one of them would open. The other one wouldn't open. So, you know, it's like this. So this is a small lock already, and now you've got half of it closed off. So, um, the other two small boats left and, and went out of there, and the other ones uh, were, were were sitting there. And uh, the lady with the lock master was uh, was running at that point. She, you know, I said, well, I, can we go by? And she goes, well, you could, but I wouldn't do it. Yeah. And so we're not, we're not going to go take the, you know, we're gonna go against that advice of somebody in this era. Although I, I kind of thought we could make it by it. Um, so we asked her what's going on. And they said, well, they don't know. They can't. It's an electrical problem. They'll call an electrician. So could have been a while. And it was. It wasn't that big of a deal in that we. Uh, the lot they provide the lines and the lines come down and you know you wrap them during the locking but then so we just cleated them yeah. off so the boat was perfectly fine we didn't have to tend to them or anything yeah we were just more concerned with how long was it going to take to get an electrician out there and were we going to end up going late over yeah. lake okeechobee because like i said before is they everyone says you need to leave early to avoid the buildup. Right, so our window was our window was uh, evaporating on the good weather out there. So eventually some other people some other people came by. I think they were going to work on the dock too or whatever, but they were part of the part of the lock. And the one guy goes, "Well, he goes if you want to go, I, you know, I think there'll be room for you." So he opened up the, the one gate again and we were looking at it and I'm going, "I, I think I got 3 feet at least on each side." And uh, he said, "I think you can do it." So we just let loose the lines and just put it on out. He did great again. Yeah. He just um, he was kind of I think you were kind of favoring the side yeah. with the okay. fenders out. Yes. And then so we um, slide along the wall. <laughs> yeah. And I had my stick ready on the other side because I had I did have the lock door I could I could push off just a little if yeah. I needed to, but yeah. I didn't need to. He just he just nailed it. Yeah. So anyhow, we got out. We got out. But it probably cost us about a, probably an hour. Yeah. You know, we were sitting in the lock. So yeah, we broke the lock. <laughs> and me meanwhile, all the other boats that were in there that were planning on leaving right after us were caught inside too, so they couldn't leave either. So we are stuck here in a lock. Something's wrong with one of the gates; it won't open. So we clean it off and we sit and wait. Hopefully, they'll fix it soon. Well, here we are, still stuck in a lock uh, in uh, Clewiston. It's, you can see how crazy small this lock is compared to our boat. There's the front. And there's the back. Our boat right there. There's Melissa. 
He's the only thing that's working in this lock. We're in jail! <laughs> he just said, we're in jail! Yes, we are. You can see from this side even better how close we are in the rear. And the front. So if you can see how these things, these locks work, these ones, they have ropes hanging down. You see right in front of that ropes hanging down. And right now, we're actually cleated. But normally what you do is you wrap around two ears and you just hold it. But since we're holding this in place, we have it cleated. So we have one line in front. And then one line in the back. So Melissa stakes the one in the back and she holds it and uh, lets it slip up or down depending on which way we're going. And I take the one in front and go up or down. We have to shut our engines off too. And uh, it's, it's, uh, it's not too bad. Uh, we haven't really been in any huge wind yet, but uh got out and uh, headed out into Lake Okeechobee, uh, which is really, it's, it's, it's almost a straight shot. There's a couple little jogs you make, I think, to go by some uh, some low spots and stuff, but pretty much it's a straight shot across the lake, about 25 miles, I think it is, straight straight across. Um, so about two and a half hours out there on the lake. Uh, wasn't bad. No, you know, it was good. Got a little bumpy one time when we had to roll, and we got we got we got waked, uh, this weird wake one time. Which really is, weird is this boat, it was bigger than us, but not, not yeah. huge, um, was way yeah. off. I mean, they weren't doing anything inappropriate at all. They were just yeah. going by, and they didn't even pass us that fast. Yeah. And yeah. they were like, way over way there. Way over there. And then, so, we're not thinking anything of it, and all of a sudden, it's like... Yeah, this, well, all of a sudden, we got, we got five, and, foot, five foot uh, uh, swell, short period swell, just, just nailing us. And, and I was downstairs doing something, I don't know, and I was just thinking, oh man, it's getting rough out there. <laughs> and I come back up and Martin goes, you know what that was? Yeah. <laughs> so, and we figured it out. Yeah, so, so basically what it was, was we were actually, there was this little section where we had to turn in. We were taking about uh, one and a half to two footers right on the beam. So we're, we're rolling a little bit with it, but it's only like one and a half footers. So it wasn't that, it wasn't that bad at all. Well, the boat that was going, the wake spreads out at an angle from it, and and uh, you know from the back of the boat you see the you know where it goes is the wake just kind of spreads out at this angle. Well, the angle that it spread out perfectly lined up with the with the waves that were coming. So when the when this wake and you can see it, you look at the back of the boat, you can see the line of the way out there, like way back, and uh, and it just happened to line up perfectly. So the, so they added together. So it was probably a two foot and two foot, and it turned out to be like more like five feet or whatever. And it was like it was only like probably what three, three or four swells. Yeah, that we it, had was, to go it through, didn't but, last long. It but just it, was weird. It moved the boat around really good. <laughs> Other than that, it was uneventful. Which yeah, we and it's also like where the heck did this come from? Yeah, you know, and it was like so. Anyhow, that was that. It was it was it was okay. Uh, that was our. I think either that it was a lake monster. It could have been that. Could have been the lake monster too. The Loch Ness or Lake Okeechobee. So anyhow, we got we got across there, and then uh, had to go through another lock right away. Uh, no big deal. And then uh, we were basically in the um, the St. Lucie part of it. But I think actually the first whole part of it, they just cut a canal. So it's like it's like dead straight for 
you know, 10 miles or something like that, you're going. And it's just, here it's a straight shot through a, a, a fairly reasonably deep, seven, eight feet deep, uh, you know, canal going going down. So it was pretty uneventful. Uh, but we got all the way down. Um, we went, I think, another, um, where we go, probably another 30 miles or so down there. And uh, we stayed at the uh, um, Sunset Bay uh, Marina, which was pretty neat, pretty yeah. nice, nice little marina. It was huge. Yeah, pretty pretty good size. So, yeah, yeah, absolutely. It had a huge mooring field, and uh, and the marina had looked like it had all kinds of good stuff. It, had, it looked like it had a really nice restaurant there. We were just kind of all in. Uh, we were we tired. Didn't, yeah, we didn't want to yeah. go. And it was actually same. It was actually Valentine's Day. Yeah. So I made uh, Melissa our own little Valentine's dinner on the boat. Yeah. Um, instead of going over to the fancy restaurant, we probably wouldn't have got it anyway, and it just we wouldn't have enjoyed it. So we didn't go. Yeah. We we stayed on the we boat. We just relaxed on the boat. And yeah, it was, perfect. it was fun. Watch the sunset. You know, that's what we were there for. So it was pretty good. It was a yeah. I think it was it was a neat little town time there, travel there. So um, I think that's it for that, right? Um, so anyhow, um, thanks again for coming coming aboard and uh, for episode of Cruise Cavaliers, and we'll see you next time. See Cheers. You next time. Happy trails.